A warm good evening and welcome to it, South Africa. I'm Thomas Mlambo. This is Soccer Zone, and it's the show that will take you back into time because we don't forget anything on Soccer Zone. Yeah, Bafana Bafana might have played against Zambia only last week, but we'll look at the performances that you need to know about. Uh, there were all sorts of new players in the game there, and we will look at what Baxter may see from that encounter. We'll take you to the playoff games. Uh, there were crazy goals scored. Uh, we now know that Barocca back in the Premiership, but how was it achieved? What kind of extra pressure was put on that? Black Leopards team by conceding one of the silliest goals you have ever seen. And then we look at the video assistant referee. That's what's happening right now at the uh, FIFA Confederations Cup. The referees and the assistants are going to the videos. Uh, coming up this weekend, though, the trophy's here in the studio with me. Please show it because uh, it's what everybody is playing for. It is the Ned Bank Cup trophy and it's Super Sport United up against uh, Orlando Pirates. Uh, we're getting a preview of that trophy and it is why we are also asking you this question tonight on our social media, which is uh, who will win the Ned Bank Cup and why? Hashtag, hashtag Ned Bank Kiyamang. That's our hashtag today. What are you saying? Thomas Bule says Supersport will win it because uh, they are still in a competitive mood because of playing in the CAF Champions League. That's a very good reason that you've given me there. And then uh, uh, further down the list, what else is being said there? There were some really nice answers here. Uh, Tamba says uh, Orlando Pirates because Bayas Queleta. And then JJ then goes on to say Supersport will win it because they want to welcome Coach Tinkler with style. Aye, JJ, what kind of reason is that? Aye, aye, that's a pop reason. Let's get to uh, uh, Dr. Mnandi for uh, his opinions. Dr. Mnandi, hashtag Nedbank Kiamang. Thank you, Thomas. I'd love to say in the Miami Pirates, but I think I need to give it to Supersport. Clear favorites going to this game. Obviously, I'm to say I'm going to say I'm Supersport playing competitive, and remember, they just played 2-2 against Tipe Mazembe last mm. week. So it tells a good And class about Lionel Mazembe food. Yes, yes, so about Polish But if you look at the master performers with Pirates, like City in a master, it's easy to bring a command. We have a small crow, and a So it tells a good This is in Paris, didn't have a good season. I maybe motivation enough, 80th anniversary, they need to go out there to give it to Ama Pagania, because we call it Ama Pagania, hence, he out is hearing it. But it's also important, this week, Ulu Pegane record got Baxter, going to this game against Pirates, six games won and one loss and seven draws. You said the one word that was very important there, mm. six. Can we see six in the final? Pella, there was six one that happened between Supersport and Pirates this season. I got you. But Supersport this season has been had a good record against Pirates. So I get pinned with six. Uh, this week? Oh, my God. Finally. Hey. 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 Yeah, oh, but if I'd asked you before that game if there were six possible, <laughs> you would have said no chance. There's the stories that are making the news right now. Uh, Peter Butler has taken over from Kevin Johnson. That's the story coming out of Platinum Stars. They appointed the former ba uh, Botswana national team coach. Uh, everyone, uh, the officials at uh, Platinum Stars saying that Peter Butler, they believe he's the man to take the club to the next level. He simply resigned from Botswana and said, I'm going uh, not too far up the road from Khabarone. I'm heading to Rustenburg, and that's where we'll see him. Then, looking at what's going on there with Jean-Francois Lucito, the uh, Black Leopards coach, he had uh, uh, a really good season. Took over in November, then took the club to the playoffs, uh, but then, after the uh, last game and not making it to the uh, Premiership, said he's done. He's handed in his re resignation at uh, Black Leopards, but in a controversy, because he's got a long contract still with Leopards, and the rumors are coming out that the reason he resigned is that he wants to go to a, a Premier League club, uh, maybe even free state stars. And now Leopards are saying, ah, wait, 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 wait. If you're going to go somewhere else here in South African football, that somewhere else must give us the money that you would have got because we have a contract with you. So it's going to be interesting. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, now, let's go on to the match that just ended a little bit uh, earlier on this evening. It was the uh, match at the FIFA Confederations Cup, and it was a thrilling encounter. Who would have expected Australia as well as Germany to play a final? Five goal thriller.
likely to be the uh, FIFA Footballer of the Year again for the fifth time, joining Leo Messi on the back of the fact that manje Sega was born on a vision with him. No, no, before see Lungi Saga Sel Fanny Beg, sit Maga to him nine moment and I retire, but um nine delicious. There you go, we've given it to Ronaldo in the 90 moment of the week. And there's still plenty more to look forward to on the show tonight, so stay with us. Uh, let's take a look, though, at what took place last week on Tuesday. Bafana Bafana took on Zambia in a friendly. It didn't go well, and we'll find out why. So this is what's coming up for Bafana Bafana when we look at the matches there. ANC stands for the uh, African Nations Cup and the uh, WCQ are the World Cup qualifiers. Uh, so uh, next up is uh, against uh, uh, a match against Botswana. And then we've got that home and away. I'm not uh, absolutely sure, certain that that would be as far as the uh, African Nations Cup is concerned though. But uh, we're also involved in Kosafa action there. So Bafana is pretty busy with the, uh, the matches that uh, are coming up. Uh, that's what uh, the uh, fixture list looks like for Bafana Bafana. And then uh, moving on from that, uh, let's take a look now at some of the moments that are worth talking about from uh, the uh, uh, match that uh, they played against Zambia. And we start out with the team sheet. Hey, from the game against Nigeria, it changed Ilindot. It changed. The whole team has been changed, but I, I, I like it. Bonga Namuntu in the starting lineup in this game, uh, as same as the starting lineup Nigeria? Never. Not even one? Not even one. And then only two players um, in this game yeah. even played against Nigeria? Yeah, man, yeah. Those were the two that came in they, as substitutes. In sub. But the rest, I'm a, player, I'm a player with the new squad. He was saying, he wants to see what, what he has in terms of the pool, because you don't want to just have the stagnant level to say, Nala Van Daba is over user, but he needs to have a, a large pool of players. Mm. So, Bonnie, I think he's happy with what he saw, regardless of the results, because my build, it's, the results are coming later. Where? Now, were you happy? No, I thought I, we didn't play well, uh, because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too sure in terms of the level. Is I'm being at the level, and we should be able to beat them easily. One of the home. players that started was uh, Lorenzo Godinho. He got a debut for Bafana Bafana, so we thought, let's look at one or two moments from him. He was nervous. I mean, there he is. He's easily beaten, and that's uh, quite early in the game. Uh, quite early in the game, he lacks the defensive patience where you just don't make a tackle because of second moment. I'm a nerves, boy. No, but Lanela, yeah, but I'm a nerves guy. I'm not like Lanela because he ngai ngai gaile, I'm not chaki because mau chaki le. What's the pressure? There's because another look at that. You look here. at the situation again. It's the same situation we where we are Pelela, Lana. Patience. We are nerves. We're not defending patience. Now it was lucky it was offside. Otherwise. And now as a centre back, you always when team consider when they drive, go by drive for But did he do enough to get a call back again to Bafana Bafana? Yeah, he can get another call. Because that was his first day. First day. But Mamela, at, at, at his age, man, he should be performing regular and regularly. Team and playing for Team and he's used to the pressure. So for now, Bafana got to leave. There's nothing can do about it. One of the names that everyone was looking forward to seeing was uh, Lebuhang Manyama. The season he's had domestically, mm -hmm. he basically pushed his way into the squad, said, you can't ignore me, coach. Mm -hmm. I have to have an opportunity to play. And then early on in the game, well, he was part of uh, uh, some really, really good, good play and also not so good play in the game. He still needs to impress Gulliches. I think for me, he's had a good season. Now he just needs to stamp authority. That's a great pass that he makes there. Very good pass. But I still say, Thomas, he needs to impress Gulliches because having a good season means now Fana will align in it with your national uh, performance. Because for me, good goal from him. If you peg it run, acceleration, mm. but also what is key? Boom. He cross from Kemi. It's not just a cross, it's a pass. And it's very important for a winger to be able to deliver a cross, a cross and a pass, Kanji. He was doing that all season for uh, Cape Town City. Mm. Then, look here as uh, he's involved again. He shows he can also make tackles. Defensive duty. When it calls for duty, Usha is sponsor of defender. He does it very well. Great and block. And for me, Great block. He almost close to be a, a, compl a, comp a complete footballer. But for me, he still has to work hard when it comes to this chase. Let's just play Evan Guspanen. Should have done better there, though. Again, situations like this, you don't compromise. Lapa. A keeper is made a save, but it, I think it was in a range of goalkeeper to make a save. Even if you kill it, it's not. But if you check on, go back to the back. Chimi, le, chimi Mm. All right, Manyama has given uh, the opportunity there. This is an area now we need to talk about. Bafana Bafana were pop at set pieces. We can't put it any other way. Yeah. When it, this is something that Stuart Baxter will be looking yeah. at. When it comes to free kicks, corner kicks, yeah. ah, it, it speaks to preparation. It speaks Bega. to yeah, do you train these things. It speaks to execution. It speaks to uh, players knowing what Piri. they're doing. He's uh, one of those that uh, we thought might bring something new. But then Pega, Dao Pe Pe can't Pe even get over the first man. Corner which, kick. which is important. And if you look at Joshua Kevin, you don't give because first man cannot get the ball because okay, start do it again. Again, Photo first man again. 
Yeah, I understand what You're I mean. You're not finding anyone. And it is a critical, it's another phase of the game where you, we need to work on. Because if you can't score from a run Try of play. Try something new. We need to come out from this situation. Maybe get something out of standard something situation. Something new, Nayo. Nothing Kumela to Mapan. show from a set piece. Tell me. Huh? I mean, how do we give the ball away when Utao could have just made it? Okay, a here's cross. another free kick. Larry, I want to see variation, man. Just we tried something else. Last is Amilas. It's Bonu Tela. One by Petty Height. So I see Lalinga. But you could see that they've worked on it on training. It's key. That's number one. Because to see with IT, okay, IT was there. They've worked on it on training. So in the Fanaga, you could polish and you could execution. So there you go. Bafana Bafana, as much as the uh, losing uh, of uh, the uh, Zambia game would have been uh, something we didn't enjoy. Lots of lessons that we learned there. Cons are liking some of the performances and also pointing out that uh, when it comes to the set pieces, that is something that we really, mm -hmm. really have to work on and improve on, especially if you look how we did it against Zambia. So that's what we've got for you as far as that encounter is concerned. Uh, uh, Dr. Mnandi. When we look at in the future for Bafana Bafana from what you've seen yeah. and the backs, that, does it look promising? It looks promising, uh, obviously based on, on, on what we've seen for the past two games because it's still early to, to judge good day, si kren or si kren, because what's important now, it's between whether it's about results, it's about us playing well, which is the, those are two elements that we need to look at. All right, let's now move on. We're looking forward to the final round of provincial league matches which will be taking place on Saturday, the 24th of June in Gauteng at the Congo Field in Dobsonville. Gauteng's top uh, Smirnoff Raja Bolo teams will be vying to be Crown the Raja Bolo champions uh, at the finals uh, on the 8th of July. The date has changed. It's now 8th of July. The grand prize for the winning team is 150,000, while the runners up will receive 50,000 Rand. Come support your team and try your luck with the skills challenges. Uh, have the chance to meet our Smirnov Raja Bolo kings uh, Spusi Sozuma, Benedict Villagazi, Stanton Fredericks, Tawam Gomeni, Polalin Lanya. These are superstars. You can meet them. Enjoy the entertainment uh, uh, from the DJs that'll be there. The gates open at 12 p.m. and entrance is free because with Smirnoff everyone's invited. Remember to purchase any bottle of Smirnoff 1818 750 mils uh, and stand a chance to win your share of two and a half million rand in instant prizes uh, and Disky Gear is also thrown in there with the prizes. Uh, all you need to do, this is how you do it, is the entry is simple. Buy the bottle of 750 uh, uh, milliliters of Smirnoff for 1880 and screw the cap. Find the code on the bottle. Dial star 120 star 1083 hash. Register and enter the code. Here's a clip of the action that went down at the fourth round of provincial matches in Durban. Take a look. Nande Teguini, Dobsonville is where it's going this week. You can follow all the Raja Bolo action and keep up to date with all the Disky news and fixtures by visiting Smirnoff 1818 Clubhouse on Facebook and on Twitter pages. Sign up to our Moby site at 1818clubhouse.moby. Now, it's time for a break. After the break, we'll have a look at what the latest is when it comes to the Champion Cup. <laughs> The chance to make your dreams a reality is still within reach. Carling Black Label continues to empower you to be the champion coach. Today, we take a look at 27-year-old Soweto-based Kaiser Chief supporter Nzako Mbalati, as well as Free State born and raised 30-year-old Orlando Pirates fanatic, a man known to other supporters as Chief Ngoko. Let's take a look. 
I grew up supporting the team in black and gold, the winning team, the team that has that dying spirit. Kaiser Chiefs reflects who I am, the Naturena boys, the Perfenio boys. So we to Dabi Buffet to Espanini, Amarengeni, wherever you go, you'd go, you'd hear people talking about the rich history that the two teams has. It unites us as supporters. My favorite formation is 3-4-3. It will support my team, strengths and quality going forward. My fantastic three, Bazo Mosh and Apaya Pambil Buffet. Pirates won't know what hit them. I'm a tactical genius. I can be able to read the game really quick in order to pass on the message into my players. I was a player as well, and you need to bring out the best out of your players. Yo, it will be a life-changing experience. It will be a dream come true to share my ideas with the players. You only dream about these experiences. I would love to have that privilege. Ebona le zia zada. Since funa panti kam ye twenty nine, he's mad. Chibi baganiya is a coli. Asin chelo keking. The parents are going to be able to wash and to go to the hospital. After all, my blood is red. I'm black. My bones are white. Chief Zay Melekwa, Kele Baganiya, once and always. Born, first time I'm going to go to the team. 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 I'm going to go to the top 25. That is in the world. So we should die. Long about the parents number 16, Chief Zay number 1. entertainment. So for me, she never about to be flexible. In the bargaining, yeah, three for three. All the teammates are not happy. Give me that. First thing first, it's something special. Bitsola Gajema, chief. Bantu Bamba Bitsa, the chief. I'm always the chief in twenty boots away. I'm quiet and ordinary kind of a guy. I'm fair. I give opportunities. I've been dreaming of getting into the company, the players, life. Experience and I'm able to change that life. It's not like a fair. The defense is easy. So can you get in Qatar? I can buy it. In fact, I can buy it now. Can win. It's a game of math. Congratulations to the home of the Carling Black Label Champion Cup FNB Stadium for their nomination in the Stadium Business Summit Awards in the category of Best Fan Experience. Make sure that you tune in to your favorite SABC radio station for the competition. Lesedi FM, Tobela FM, Umtlobuenene on Thursdays between 7 and 7.30, Ukozi FM and Mutsuering on Fridays between 7 and 7.30 p.m. Do the right thing and stand a chance to be the champion coach. Premiership playoffs uh, came to an end over the last week. There was game five that had controversy and really made it difficult for Leopards. The mistake that was made there by their goalkeeper made the last game a very high mountain for them to climb. If you didn't see it, take a look at these highlights. Let's take you through the uh, last matches of the playoffs and then look at the moments and the critical things that have made sure that Barroca stay in the Premiership. Well, good evening and welcome to the Athlone Stadium. We are in the Mother City, Cape Town, for the penultimate promotional playoff tie of this 2016-2017 season. Yeah, London Joy, the team was Julie Jan, Kobati. Even on the back, they pride to the teacher guy. Shot and the lane, and the two by Eli. The shot of the He's got a brace before half-time, in and in time, he knew it was by inches. 
against maintaining position in this play. Butcher looks like he's set to just tap it out of play. Keep it downfield. Indeed he does. Referee's attention will go to Dean. Don't confuse it with Musona scoring a hat trick over the weekend. What a quality performance from Knowledge Musona. Oh! Was coming together. No, no, it's not. It's been placed down. No, the referee's given it. He's pointed to the center circle. He has given it as a goal. Well, Wow. Hello everyone and welcome to the Toyando Stadium. It is Black Leopards and Baraka fighting for their survival is Baraka FC. That is the survival of uh, their position in the APSA Premiership. Beautifully struck, goalkeeper got a touch. He applauds even if he does that for himself. He needs a motivation. by the fans and uh, the captain obliges to Pelele and Jangasek he's up against Abashoni Chinuna beaten he went to the left Sipelele and Jangasek went to the right Ramona Kunya Tiche Rejano Daga Re Harrison Bitwakam Tantani Khaon Najalo Baroka Baba Buela Khapi Kamata. Three points clear. Barroca FC, they are the team to survive. They stay in the APSA Premiership next season. And Black Leopards and Stellenbosch have it all to do again next season. This is how it happened. And you have to give it to them. Barroca did what they needed to do. Yeah, experience has worked for them. And also, they did what was supposed to be done in order for them to stay in the Premier League. But I think it was a lesson for Bona. Would you don't want to find yourself there. Coach Tobejan, you see, but oh, believe, no. people didn't believe in Tobejan. Tobejan, he took them to safety oh. and brought them back to the league. Oh, great. Let's no, 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 no. <laughs> move on and uh, have a look now at uh, a player that I know Mkonza really likes, but he won't get a chance to see him in the APSA Premiership next season, and that's uh, Spelele Njangas. Yeah, I think I've been saying this, I mean, for the past two years, I don't know understand how is he not that I uh, undermine NFT but the fact that we know Jangas should be playing the Premier League mm. and I think next season you see how my team's more expanding some TVT this is the player to say let's take a look and see what uh, it is that uh, you are seeing uh, he uh, does have vision eh? quality vision look here and, 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 and not just a vision look at the pass it's, it's vertical progression ball progression you need an attacking with for that it will find a passes that others don't find and he plays in those envelopes that other players are scared to get into. And for me, Unjang has a intelligence is key. I just love the fact, though, that despite the, what people are probably telling him and that you should maybe start looking to go to another club, he still does the job week in and week out for Leopards. He gives quality like this it, all season long. No, he gives all. He's it's, a professional. Professional. Very honest boy. I've spoken to him. Very honest boy. And he loves his job. And also, you know, you don't, you don't know what can happen. So rather give you all low corner so that when the opportunity comes, we are all ready, ready for it. But for me, top player. Black Leopards in this game were cruising. They looked like they were going to get to a situation where in the final game of the season, they would only need to win by one game against Barocca. But that changed mm. when they conceded this goal. Yeah. I think it's also important to understand, Uti, 
you know, if 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 keep up with Tyson, I think for me he needed to understand that they, they can't concede because all leopards needed is not to concede in this game. And trust me, if it, it had to go to goal difference. You saw Musanda there with a shot on target. But uh, let's get to the goal that I was actually talking about when it comes to uh, uh, FIFA fair play and doing the right thing and, you know, giving the ball back to the opposition. Here it is. This is what uh, really made life difficult for Black Leopards yeah. because you've got a player who goes down here for uh, uh, Stellenbosch, Tariq Dean. Ulimel, yeah. Uli, Uli, he's down. Ulimel, Uli, and normally what team does, Skipeli Polanga Pange. Leopards catch Langa Pange. So they play with him and I'm going to I say network to do my tender say Susa for but in Kai Pola back because the Stellenbos to say we're doing a fair play, so in Kai Tiski back. So so far Shaiza and that's it's wonderful. Fair play, we love it, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shitembi then gets the ball, yeah. no one is tackling him, he gives it to the keeper. Yeah. Tata Mule keeper, Stali game. Mule ah, ah. Mule ka chopi, you know, that. that is why that ball went inside because yeah, now you needed a bit of concentration in that situation. He undermined with the polar skid because if we pega a crane, we show a skid like pola mal pounds and the uh, moist layer a uh, keep down uh, in a trouble. Prof you know, Muleka even puts the ball down for a goal kick <laughs> afterwards. Ulbega Pans is saying, no, actually, Koli, uh, it's a goal kick. Nothing can, can be further from the truth. It is a goal because there's nothing in the laws that says if such a goal is scored, you have to disallow it. Yeah. It's what Konza just said. It's FIFA Fair Play ethos where an opponent is down, you just kick it into touch mm. and then you throw it in. That's why most of the players now that are skilled actually don't pass it straight to the keeper. They pass it away from mm. the ghost. Mm. Because in instances like Muleka, <laughs> who decides to misjudge the bounce of the ball uh. and it goes into the back and of the net. And even Steele, though, because had that goal not gone yes. in, they would have gone into that last game knowing that they only need to beat Barocca by one goal. goal yeah. Because of that now, they needed two nil clear victory, two clear goals to beat uh, uh, Barocca. They couldn't do it, Prof. And that was a silly, silly mistake that happened there. But you've got other moments. Yes. Um, the other important thing is we always say a refer I mean, a, a player or a substitute or a substituted player, if he's on the bench, he's under the jurisdiction of the referee, whether called upon to play or not. Mm. And in this case, we will show you that here is a player that has been red carded. And, and when we play it, you will see that the player ha was, re was, was actually substituted earlier. He goes into the penalty area, I mean, into the goal line, into the. Uh, we're playing the, the wrong clip here. In the, um, here is the red card. Yebo. Yeah, the refer the assistant referee is actually is complaining to the referee. The assistant referee, Jojo Mushid, is saying to Tandon Zazega, hey, I've got a, a substituted player on the bench that is involved in unspotting behavior. Mm. And in this case, referee once again sent, sent yes from the bench. What we are emphasizing here, it means what we are trying to say is it doesn't mean when you have finished playing and you are bench in, you can start saying mm. unprintables to the referees. Uh, because you are still on the bench, you are then going so to be... Well, so, I mean, so, I mean, so, I mean, right, so, I mean, right, so, I mean, so, that's how he, we say whether called upon to play or Ooh. not under the jurisdiction of the referee. And he throws the book at him without your favor. Now, let's move on to the second match uh, that took place the final encounter. This was the one for everything. It was a match that needed uh, uh, Leopards to win by two clear goals against Barocca. Going into the game, though, uh, the uh, man in goals, Oscarin Maseluke, was not in goal for the final game. But not because uh, uh, of what we've been saying here on Soccer Zone. He was suspended. Suspended for this game. So obviously it called a coach to have a show in the end of they did save in Dota. I don't know when you're goalkeeping Uchimile, but I need to say, I was good in a lassi pegging. I said, I say, Pegag, I should die back in. What a save. These are the saves that you'd want to have a keeper. That also, the crowd loves these saves. When you keep a hand on my save, I saw my crowd. Solid uh, performance from Avashon. He hasn't played much. Oscar Reen has been the number one goalkeeper. Yeah. But the problem here yeah, is that no, because good. of not playing, yeah, then then you create a school pack, let's just lap and because it's also important to do the eye in the man because it's a good goalkeeper. We spotted it there, yeah, yeah, and yeah, and yeah. then even getting up, man, I've shown you. Yeah, even my own parama, Lana, during the game, pack, I took paranoia, paranoia, can see, man, look at the facial expression. I Hey, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yo. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 Hey.
to keep his club when he was needed. Yeah. And the number one keeper wasn't there. Ungeni. Actually, I think Jepard is a very good goalkeeper from what I've seen. This was a rough game, though. This was a rough game. This was a game to survive. This was a game to get promoted. This was a game where nobody said, I'm going to just go there and play fair and Mbayege. The fouls, referee Chris Harrison here had his hands full with uh, the kind of tackles and the incidents that were happen taking place here. Look at this one here, where we see uh, Mdansani just get stood on there by Munyai. Nje, Pega, but I no Tata. Uh, yeah, apart from the So So I mean, all the tackles were showing with la big, big fee or plan, plan. This is a really bad tackle there. Litswalo gets uh, uh, to know all about Ndo. Look at the Achilles here. Hey, <laughs> Tell me. Yes. Tell me. And also, you, the defender was not going to win the ball up. But I know me and Shawe and I get this. Plenty of uh, work there for uh, referee Harrison to do. He had all to do to keep everyone on the field. He managed that, uh, and uh, we have to give him credit for that. But then let's move on and take a quick look at the, the crucial goal, the goal that made sure that Barocca were well and truly safe uh, in terms of their uh, attempt to stay in the Absa Premiership. And you've got to give uh, Mutlochi oh, credit friend. here. He really was brilliant. I think he, he's bypassing the midfielder by, the, by means of a long ball. But what is key, uh, Matloha, this situation, I mean, you look at uh, Black Leopards, they've got about seven, seven defenders. They, they need to deal with this situation very easy, as you've highlighted them. But Matloha is saying, I'm going to penetrate by means of, uh, obviously, uh, skill, skill, using his own skill, uh, which is very key also. Because now, mindset without a ball, after not uh, giving that one to it's also key that he's taking to say, I'm taking initiative of taking a shot. But now, Lizola was there to finish off everything. But for me, I think he has done well for Barocca this season, Matloha. Prof, Barocca stay up. The referees, what do you think? I think uh, the referee was very good. Uh, let's see one other incident. Plo uh, talk will play for us in this case. Now, when, when we, we view it, you will see that when that ball is played in, mm. Mus, uh, Muape goes in badly. I, that's why I thought you were, you were a bit harsh on the goalkeeper there. The goalkeeper was having a hard time standing up because he received this type of tackle. And let me tell you, as you can see it, uh, Muape was very lucky, was very lucky to be on the field of play at the end of that game. So. Uh, Chris uh, will realize this and probably will correct it. In that case, he was supposed to have been red carded straight away because mm. he used excessive force mm. and it could actually be serious foul play. But he wanted to promote the game and contain every, I mean, retain everybody on the field of play. And Tog will play as the second one. And in this case, it's the penalty um, that was awarded um, to uh, 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 Black Leopards. And in this case, I wonder why Black Leopards, I see they're pink. Eh? Um, Maruzwe, uh, now he goes in and, and you can see him putting up his leg because at the time he was chasing the ball and heading it. Mm. He was aware of the oncoming and onrushing danger behind him. And and he just falls down oh. here. And he, falls, he does yeah, fall down, but look at how he puts up his, hair, his legs to make sure that he does not jump over him. Oh, As no. you can see, he ah, jumps over him. Prof. I know it's debatable, but I agree with Chris in this case. He was very much aware of the oncoming and onrushing. As you can see, he was trying to get over him, and he put up his leg. Maua, your feet normally sprawl, ah. but this time the feet go up. No, no, no. is not aware. Okay, he's aware that he did the strike. Okay, the as long as we agree, but he was aware. Yeah, but he was yeah, not. He was aware. aware. We, see. No, we that, that's that. the important thing. He was aware of the oncoming so danger. So that means if he's going to get over me, what do you do? Uh, he puts his feet up. As you can see, they can put his feet, feet up. There you have it. They don't agree. You give us your perspective. We're going to a break. Uh, we'll be back with more after the break when we focus in on the FIFA Confederations Cup. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>
Hey, there's a new signal. That TV screen signal for video referee. That's the one we're going to talk about very shortly. This is what it looks like as far as Group A is concerned. The Russians, the hosts, top the group and they are away. And then looking at uh, Group B, our African team, uh, the uh, CAF uh, champions, uh, Cameroon, have it all to do now in their remaining two games uh, as they've got some hard work against uh, uh, Germany as well as Australia. Here are the fixtures uh, as far as the uh, FIFA Confederations Cup 2017 are concerned some great matches to look forward to from some of the best footballers in the world but let's look at uh, what this thing is all about when the referees talk about it uh, video assistant referee var that's what they're talking about here's a goal let's talk about this uh, dr nandy yeah. the ball ends up in the back of the net nanny scores yeah. and the assistant referee at this point has said nothing everything is fine agna flag nothing yeah. assistant referee i think we'll be a little on duty because if you pick up the situation so if there's a vv crash then the ref says, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I see check. Yeah, I see check. Video assistant ref, Nkalung check, Leon. Prof, get involved. Yes, the important thing here, Thomas, is that with the VAR, they will only come in if there's a clear error on the part of the referees. So, the Kuluma, I go TV room, by pega, by pega. After that, he says, uh, I've checked it, they've given me the information, Axi code. Clear error was, was found. To, to, to have resulted into that goal. And that's the only time they come in. And they the are not error going was to interfere here. with the goal. When this ball is so played, Pepe is offside. offside yeah. Absolutely. And then he challenges for the ball further. Yeah. Mm. So once again, I've always said an assistant referee can either make you or break you. And this time, they're going to put a lot of pressure on assistant referees because it will show either, particularly in this game and the game uh, Chile against uh, Cameroon, mm. Um, why was there the was assistant another video referee? there was yes. another video refereeing here again yes. here dr mnandi assistant yeah. referee doesn't put a flag up nothing yeah. that's a goal according to the referees on the field i think it was easily tv because live split second situation and now lensman like njilo to get your opinion but again the tv lies or caesar because lama situation so hey i've heard yeah, what about I tv choose. man yeah. tv everyone on the field yeah. the assistant says it's a goal assistant said it's a goal but once again Bang. the var comes in and Pass. he said, when there is a clear, clear, the, the operative word is clear, error in the application, game-changing situations, yeah. goals, no goals, penalty, no penalty, red cards, no red card, direct red card, not two yellows. Do you like it? Yeah, I'm not. You, you like it? I'm not. This is good. This is what looks like in my situation. Because the foot we ask again, I'm not defending. Hey, what do you <laughs> think at home? Is the video <laughs> assistant referee the uh, future, or is it just spoiling the game we love? We'll be back after the break. Everyone saw that it hit the back of the net. So, what is it that you can look forward to in terms of football action over the week to come? Well, Super Sport United up against Orlando Pirates. Uh, that's the action live coming your way on Saturday evening, 8 o'clock. The trophy is here with us uh, in studio. again. Because the hashtag tonight has been hashtag NetBankGiamang. Remember, keep the conversation going. Hashtag NetBankGiamang. Which way? I want you to stick your head on the block now. Who's going to win? Kia Supersport. Yo, you just said Kia Supersport. <laughs> Good night.